hi guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new welcome my name is Shiro I do videos on makeup hair care skincare and random vlogs and today I'm gonna do a video on makeup uh, specifically uh, powders for the face and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite powders which I don't think I can live without which I really love and um, most of them actually are from Mac and yeah I'm gonna show you I think they're around one two three five they're actually five of them and I'm gonna start with Mac um, I have this studio fix uh, powder by Mac which is this one here and it's in the shade NW 45 I'm not sure whether you can see that there you go NW 45 I think if you can see that well um, uh, most actually all of the powders I use them after I have applied my foundation so I I, I rarely use them on their own uh, because I find them more covering when you use a little bit of foundation under and then I use the um, uh, studio fix powder afterwards but either way you could use a studio fix powder on its own if you don't have blemishes or hyperpigmentation so uh, for me i use them after i've used my foundation to cover up my uh, hyperpigmentations and uh, all that kind of stuff um like right now i have a what's it called i have estee Lauder on which is the uh, i'm gonna show you anyway it's this one here it's double wear this is my favorite foundation and it's in the shade sandalwood which is 6w1 so i've used this one first and then i've gone in with uh nw45 by mac to cover up a bit of hyperpigmentation because lately i've been uh breaking out and having some you know you know when you break out you leave out some marks after you've popped up uh, your pimples which is not really a good thing to do so i tend to um love this foundation because it's a matte foundation and in my opinion it's a full coverage foundation i love love this is my favorite foundation so yeah i've got a couple favorites like mac as well but i think if i was to choose one one brand it's um estee lauder so i use um nw45 after i've applied my foundation and then after doing so i have a Max Studio Fix in the shade C7. This one right here. I think you've seen it from my Mac uh, shopping. Or these are these are kind of like a makeup haul I did, a mini makeup haul I did. Um, and I got this one C7, which I use for my under eye because it's a bit brighter, so it makes my uh, kind of my my under eye pop up, and which makes it very very interesting. I'm not sure whether you can capture it now I don't know uh, I'm not sure how it's showing up there but it's really nice for I, I use it for my under eye sometimes I use it for my face because it's a good shade for my skin so it's really good and yeah um, Mac Studio Fix they are very very pigmented and they tend to do a very um, great coverage on, on, on my skin and I think it's one of the best uh, powder foundation that i've ever used i've used them for the longest time and i can't even remember since when mac mac uh, use it for the longest and uh, i think their quality is top notch and they're not very expensive like you see like estee lauder or other brands like laura Mercier or I, I don't know bobby brown i'm not sure how what a um, price range for bobby brown is but i know mac is quite affordable and the next thing I use again from MAC is this uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. This one here. It's in the shade Dark. It's just um, uh, a black packaging like MAC do. And um, this one is the new packaging. Uh, and the previous one was like um, in the middle in the middle right here they had a clear space so you could see the powder um uh, the, the 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 skin finish foundation uh, mineralized skin finish natural i'm not i'm not sure 
why I'm calling it foundation but it's mineralized skin finish in natural and the shade is dark uh, as you can see it's fair it's not even fairly new it's actually very new I've used it like um, five times and it makes your skin glow oh my god this is amazing and yeah as you can see it's like a baked um this baked makeup stuff i'm not sure whether they bake it but i know it's really really good looks like that yeah oh and i didn't even show you the rest like the c7 c7 i've i, I had already shown you from my previous um video but i can go ahead and show you i haven't used that much it's very new as well so this is a C7. Focus on the C7. And then this is the NW45, which is quite dark. Yeah. If you compare it with C7, C7 is lighter. Yeah. There you go. So the other oh my goodness let me show you uh no I'll, I'll save the best for last um this uh two face pull side pumping uh this two face pull pull side pumping uh eh, is it pumping primping primping or oh, primping two faced sorry come again it's two faced pull side primping or primping sunny bunny bronzing powder uh which uh is amazing as, as well it's more like uh, the mac one but this one is more geared towards i think uh, the lighter skin tones and i love it i bought it as a what was it it was either a a set you know like the either the free stuff you get from buying a a, what's it called from buying makeup from Too Faced you get like a set free during Christmas time if I can remember well or I bought it at a very um, low price uh, as an introduction price from them uh, I can't remember quite well it, it was quite a while back and I haven't been using it for a while and then I found out I have something nice and it's this it's split into two shades this one is a, a bit darker than this one so I tend to gravitate towards this one. You can see this one is uh, almost dented, but uh, I love them both. So yeah, this is the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzing Powder. And um, it's in the shade what I, they haven't said. They just have a name. It's this one. And uh, I think even now Too Faced, they do have other shades or other, not even other shades. I think they have a new packaging this is quite old this one is very old so yeah um love 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 this one and that's the back and then as, like i said i'll save the best for the last and it's oh my god even the packaging oh dear this is very very nice and this is the i guess Someone can guess what brand this is. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Powder Makeup. And it's in the shade Sandalwood. Just like my um, foundation. This has a very, very good coverage. Um, I use it around my face, under my eyes. Um, <clears throat> and also, like, when I've used a bit of a darker foundation because of my hyperpigmentation, I use this for my under eyes, which works wonders. And as you can see, that's the shade. I love the packaging. Look at the time they take for doing their packaging. The gold rim around the pan. Very pretty. And the gold, oh God, uh, is it a logo or what? And the navy blue, golden navy blue, Estee Lauder. Amazing, amazing. This one is my favorite. Uh, uh, pout. They're all my favorites. I, I love them all. So... But if I was to choose, Estee Lauder works well for me. I have used lots and lots of uh, foundations from Estee Lauder because I really, really love their coverage and the longevity, which uh, stays for quite a while. Like, 
throughout the day you won't see any smudging you won't see any shininess and unless it's really hot and um, works well for me i i love that brand so um that's it for me guys i hope you did enjoy and see you on the next one bye bye